Well, we've got a measurement session in front of us here that is this pretty sweet piece of plate steel. I've got a client that actually is going to bend this into a 90 degree angle and then weld it onto a pallet or an assembly uh, that will be used as a pallet for holding bombs. There's going to be a missile that's going to be right here and right here in both of these saddles uh, over, a, over a certain distance and that's going to be used for shipping bomb pallet or bombs for the military. So what we have to do is we've got to take these these openings here and measure them and check them back to the drawing. But this is a perfect example of an arc on how this is cut. This is laser cut, so it should be pretty much right on. But I wanted to show you guys today in version X of CAM2 how we would measure arcs. So come on into the software with me and I'll show you how we're going to capture that geometry. So you can see right here inside of CAM2, I've already got the plate measured as far as the plane. I've measured the the face of this, this plane here, plus I've measured the bottom line right down through here and then a side line here because the dimensions on the drawings all come from this corner. So what I've done is a line line alignment to get into this view here that I've got. So you can see here I've already measured this plane, that's the plate, and I've got a couple lines on there to form my coordinate system and I've already done one of the saddles right here. So I've already tracked the geometry on this saddle right here. So what I wanted to show you guys is this one here. So I've got a three millimeter probe that's already calibrated up on the, on the quantum today. So I'm going to show you how we're going to grab an arc. So right here in X, I'm going to run up to the measure menu. I don't have arc exposed, so I've got to hit the little down arrow there. And here it is, arc. Now this selection comes up here, the selection of the plane is the plate top. So the plate top right here is where I want that, that arc to appear. So I'll say OK to that. Now I'm in single point mode taken, so I'm just going to take this, this arm here and I'm going to put on probably five points. Now. CAM2 just needs three to solve for that perfect arc. I like more on there to test the form of that arc. So then I compensate on the inside of that circle. Since it's truly an inside shape, what I like to do is compensate inside. I can't or I don't want to go and compensate outside of the geometry. Right? Um, so whenever you're compensating, never cross your geometry. So I compensate inside here. And then look what comes up is this dialog box here that's the results of that measurement. And again, the first thing I like to do is I like to name it. I'm going to hit this down arrow here because I've already got saddle one out there. So I'll change that to saddle two. And then I come up and I look at the form. The form is about a thou and a half. Okay, I buy that because it's laser cut. So I would expect that, that feature to be pretty close to what it needs to be for that size. So, or for that form. So that's a thou and a half. I buy that. Now the radius here measured out at 7.378, okay? The nominal on the, on the drawing says that this radius here should be 7.375, okay? So 7 and 3 eighths of an inch is what that radius is. Now what happens with, uh, with CAM2 measure though, here I'm going to say okay here a second and let me show you. Then I'll escape out because I'm not going to measure any more. I've turned off the labels on the other features just because I wanted to show what was going on here. What CAM2 does is it grabs that feature. Here it names it Saddle 2. And here's all the measured geometry from that. But this is what I wanted to show you right here is this diameter. See, it, it states it as a diameter even though inside of review features it's calling it a radius. But the diameter has given us a 14.7561. Okay, so what I have to do though is inside of review features for saddle two, if I'm going to do a nominal on that saddle two or on its size, I'm going to come down here to the enter, the hand key in. I'm not going to worry about X, Y, Z or the, or the vector right now of the center line. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in what's supposed to be the nominal. Here we go, it's 14.75 is the diameter. So, and then I'll say okay to that. 
because then what it does is it's using that 14.75 and it's cutting it in half. In fact, let me go to tolerances and take care of some of this other stuff. And then here's my, my diameters checked, even though it is showing me only radius, okay? So just remember that you have to look at the nominal as if it was a diameter. And then in the arc and under the features here, under the reporting, it's gonna show you what the radius is. The same is gonna go for the tolerancing on this. What I've got is I've got plus or minus a 10 thousandth uh, upper and lower tolerance. But since it's on a diameter, I've gotta come in here and say that this is gonna be, oops, let me get this here. Okay, so what it's gonna be is it's gonna be 20 thou, plus or minus 20 thou is gonna be my tolerance, which under the report again, look at this, it changes it to plus or minus 10 thou. So you have to treat the arc as it's a diameter, just because that's the way CAM2 is gonna process this up for its reporting. So the nominal has to be the diameter and the tolerance has to be the diameter. So take whatever criteria is on the drawing and just double it for your nominal and your tolerance. And then your reporting should show up fine.